What's going on everyone? Hope you have a great day. So here I'm back on another video. I'm Surajit and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to try as a dual coin mining and it's about how to dual mine Hypra and Curlsen in high voice. And for the Hypra, I'm using the Metamax wallet and for the Curlsen, I'm using the Trade.org exchange wallet because in this previous video on the Hypra, I'm using the Metamax wallet and for the Curlsen, I am using the exchange wallet as a Trade.org because on this time, Curlsen is not available on any exchange and they have no wallet so that's why i'm using the trade.org exchange wallet because they have some wallet balance as a curlsen mining so that's why i'm choosing the trade.org for the curlsen and for the hypra i'm using the benamax wallet so this is the main thing in here and this video can be goes long because i make a short video in here so just watch it out that how to create or how to make a flight sheet in high bus for the dual coin mining is the hypra and the curlsen has. So for the miner, I am using the LOL miner and also make a flight sheet on the Rizal miner, which is listed on the latest version is 1.12.2 for the Rizal and for the LOL miner, it's about 1.82a. This is going to be the best and the smooth experience you can get on as a LOL miner on as a Rizal miner to mine as a dual coin mining is on the Hypra and the Curlsen. So for the mining pool stats, here you can see that I'm using the Viper.net in this before video also i make this tutorial it's about to using the viper.net and also in this dual coin mining i am using the viper.net and this is the recommendation that you can choose as a metamax wallet but i recommend that choose the metamax wallet to connect at the add network section that this is going to be the best for as a hypra metamax wallet right now the price is on the hypra in the zegex it's about 0.08 cents however it's something like 18% down for the 24 hours but it's still going to be the profitable and for the trade org as a person is right now 21% to 19% is going up and the price is right now 0.03 cents and on the hashtag.no right now here we can see it's about hyper plus person to give you the revenue it's about before the electricity 0.65 cents and after the electricity it's about 0.36 cents so the hashtag you can get on 43.28 on 3060 card this is for the hypra and for the kls it's about 500 megahertz per second you can get as a dual coin mining is on hypra and person so i'm using the lol miner and for the rizal miner is 1.12.2 and for the mining pool stats it's about i choose the viper.net for the hypra and for the person i'm using the hero miner so this is the basic settings and the overall things in here that i'm going to apply in on high voice now goes back to the high voice that here we can see I just applied and tested it and here we can see that the hash rate I got it's about 46 to 45 mega hash per second however the hash rate is showing that on the medium overclock setting it's about 43.28 but on the Carlson hash there you can see that I got total it's about 975 it's about I get uh, 475 to 87 mega hash per second however the hash rate dot you know is recommended that we can get the 500 mega mega hash per second on the medium overclock setting and for the medium overclock setting i said this overclock setting that the hash rate dot no is recommended it's our core clocks is 1500 memory clocks 2000 and the power limit is 170 and the reported power it's about 119 but this is not the actual power on my both 3060 card is taking around and now let's see that how to create the wallet and also the flight sheet so on the wallet section just add your wallet and choose your coin as a hypra but one more thing is that that is also it's going to the same hype is right now available on there so if you choose as a hypra you can see that this is for the rhythm is showing in there okay choose anything on there because this is also as a rhythm it's the ethereum restart project or the rhythm restart project as a hypra or as a rhythm so choose any of this you can choose also rth on your hybrid flight sheet but i'm choosing Choosing the Hypra so on the wallet choose Hypra or you can choose as a RTH and select your coin and in here paste your wallet address and set the name and create your flight sheet so I make a wallet in there it's about the K 
KLS. This is for the KLS that choose the KLS and this is for my KLS exchange wallet for the trade or exchange wallet I am using in here. Set the name as a person and create your wallet or update your wallet in here. And this is for the Hypra that my Metamask wallet in there. So just choose your Hypra coin in here and just paste your Metamask wallet address or you can choose as an exchange wallet. But I am not recommend to choose any exchange wallet but I am using also exchange wallet because I am not facing any issue because there is a lots of youtubers and also the others miners and also me recommended to not using the exchange wallet but I am not facing any issue till so that's why I am using exchange wallet and also choose the windows wallet and also some other web wallet from there but in here I am using the metamax wallet so choose your coin paste your metamax wallet address and set the name and create your wallet and now let's back to the flight sheet and in here that I said the total two flight sheet on there first one is for the risal and the second one is for the lol miner so for the risal miner just click on the edit and here we can see that the first coin is choose as a hypra then choose as a hypra wallet on the hypra I am using the configured in miner because I am using the viper.net and hypra is not listed in here but you can choose as a RTA so you can get the auto server pool from there but I am choosing the hypra in there so that's why I am choosing the configured in miner and in here I select the risal miner and for the dual coin mining if you not get the dual coin option so just first one is set your first coin as a hypra then on the setup country file choose as a it has v3 algorithm on the hash algorithm for the wall template choose the wall and for the worker name choose as a worker name from there password you can choose as a blank or you can choose as a x but i'm not choosing and for the server address i am setting this for the viper.net from there just click on the wizard section select region any of this and choose your stratum id from there so i click on this finland server and on the flag sheet just paste it on there this is the port and this is the stratum id and this is the overclock setting for my risal configuration and i set the same overclock setting but you can choose others but i set in there and apply on changes and then you got the dual coin option so just click on the kls from there choose your wallet and choose i'm using the hero miners and select your pool address and set the name and on the setup country file on the second coin option choose cursin has from there wall from here work a name in there and the same is because i'm using the auto server pool so that's why i choose the url from there and this is the extra config argument as a overclock setting and apply on changes and create your flight sheet or update your flight sheet so this is done for the risal miner and if you choose for the lol miner that the hashtag.nr is recommended and i'm using the medium overclock setting from there so on the flight sheet just uh, edit all option in there select your hyper same and if you don't get the dual coin option so you can choose the first coin in there in the first section then you got the setup config file and set the config file on there and you get the dual coin option then you set the dual coin on there but if you get the dual coin option before setting the overall things so you can get it and set your coins from there so this is the first coin is the hyper and the hyper wallet configured in minor set the lol Miner. in this year i am using the risal miner and now i am choosing the lol miner and for the dual coin mining i said the kls cousin is the trade or exchange wallet for the pool i am using the auto server pool is the hero miner set the name as a hyper cousin dual test for the lol miner and on the setup country file choose the eth has v3 algorithm for the in here here you can see that i said the wall dot worker name from there just choose wall then set a dot and then paste a worker name from there worker name in here you can set as a worker name but you can choose also the blank in here and on the pool server i am using the viper.net for the hypra so this is the setting in there and just set just copy on that and paste your pool server in here just delete the port section from there copy this port and paste it in there and on the password i set as a blank or choose as a x on the extra config argument i set the overclock setting in here on the extra config argument you set the devices on the nvidia or also choose as a amd but i don't set anything this is the overall things in here and on the second coin option 
choose the Carlson dual on the Rizal minor, it's about that the Carlson hash, but on the LOL minor, you set as a Carlson dual, so you can get it from there as a Carlson dual. You can see, and on the wallet template, wallet worker name, worker name in here. So I'm choosing the hero minus as a auto server pool, so choosing as a URL host, URL port also from there, password as a X, and this is the extra config argument as overclock setting. So, this is the overall things in here. Apply on changes that create to price sheet, and this is done. Now, let's back to the live update that what is the hash rate that I can get. So, this is the live update on high voice that my both 36 card is now mining high prime curls in as a dual coin mining on LOL miner. And here we can see that the hash rate it's about 92.5 mega hash on hypra and the KLS it's about 975. So, my V1 and V2 card is getting kind of like a same hash rate, it's about 45.91 to 46.13 mega hash per second. And right now, the overall is the power wattage by V1 card is take around 151 and the V2 card is take around 100. 33 watt however the hash rate dot you know, is recommended is take around 119 watt on the medium overclock setting and in here here you can see that i said the auto fan speed option in enable on there and all the overall settings i set on my flight sheet so here you can see that the port and the algorithm and also the stratum id wallet address and also the extra config argument as overclock setting i set on there so this is the overall update and the total power consumption is take around 284 watt and this is the settings and and here you can see that the smooth experience is going on so this is the overall update and if you think that this video is going to be helpful for you please like and subscribe to my channel and there is a lots of videos available on there so choose any of these which you want to mine and the AIPG is still going profitable so you can choose as a AIPG for as a GPU mining and I make this video as a windows and the high voice so you can choose any of this and if you want to mine some other coin there is also available on there so choose any of this coin whichever you like and if you think that this video is going to be helpful for you and informative for you please like and subscribe to my channel and also share this video to your friends and family that they also be helped by these videos so this is the overall things in this video and i just wrap up so have a great day i will see you in the next one